Hello guys, welcome to Dried Crunch and in this video we are going to talk about ninja tables and this plugin is quite amazing if you are looking to add tables on your posts, on your pages you want to give your users a nice experience from the tables from where they can click on the links they can uh, filter the data and they can search the data out of the tables and it's not possible with the Gutenberg table block itself so you may need to use some plugins uh, definitely so you can find tons of tables plugins in plugins repository and ninja tables is one of them the free version can be downloaded from the plugins repository from here but if you are looking to add some extra features like front-end editing of your tables front-end uh, CRUD operations like you can delete the rows you can actually add some rows and you can uh, edit your content inside any row right then you will need ninja pro and there are more some of these features that are in the pro version only okay so you can check out the link in the description if you want to see all the features of pro version and the pricing and comparisons you can check our link in the description it's an affiliate link but it will not cost you any extra penny if you download or purchase the pro version from my link and it will support me eventually to make more videos for you right so for now let's uh, resume to the video and see in action what you can do with the pro version and what you can achieve with this plugin okay so let me go to the plugin dashboard so after installing the plugin you will see this kind of a dashboard where you can create your first table and import from the csv but we will first see in action what you actually have to do when you install this plugin so step by step we will see so if you are new you can just look at the help and documentation if you don't know how to start but i am just uh, helping you to do that so you can avoid this and just quickly go to these settings so you can import your tables from here you can set the global appearance for all your tables so it is recommended that you first go to this setting so you can actually define all the uh, appearance settings from here but what is lacking it doesn't show you the preview so i will recommend that you create a new table okay and when you style your table you don't style it from there you just see how it looks and then change the settings from here and save it update it and it will automatically be done for your table itself okay i will let you know when i will be editing uh, the table and uh, you will notice it okay and then you can set the permission like who can actually edit all your tables the rows you can set uh, it to editor or author okay to administrator would automatically be allowed okay then you can set up your license to enjoy all the features and then here are some global javascript uh, handling settings okay so first you need to set the license after purchasing the plugin then you can set the global appearance but you can do that after you uh, create a new form so let us start with the form you can create a manual form or import from the csv file I'll create a manual form and I will import the content from CSV after creating the form manually. Okay, you can actually start either way. You can import from CSV as well. Okay, I have this file. So if I upload this file, uh, I save it in a CSV and then if I upload it, I will have a table that will have all these columns, name, description, coupon, and link. Okay, and this data will be there. But I don't want to do that. I will show you from the manual creation okay so table title i can say it like uh, offers and deals okay uh, offers and deals 2021 2021 and you can actually uh, you know uh, return this uh, content in your table on the top of your table like table title and description from style settings then you can click add it yeah though there were more settings to create let me show you 
like if you go to your tables and you create add table you will find that you can import your table you can connect forms you can create tables from wp posts like post types you can see all of these post types and you can see the content and you just name it and start creating table you can also create a table from your woocommerce tables you can connect your google sheets for this purpose you can connect external csv file or you can start with a custom sql query right for now we are going with the manual creation of this one so here we have table rows table configurations table design front end editing custom season js and import export settings okay so what are the table configurations you will see all the columns here so first let's uh, add few columns like name it's a text field so i will keep it to text single line text field and responsive breakpoint will be always shown all devices you can keep it to initial hidden mobile initial hidden mobile and tab so what will happen this column will be hidden initially until you make it uh, show right that okay then you have some advanced settings for extra classes maximum width and here text alignment row text uh, alignment content text alignment and then you can enable html table header content from this toggle you can disable the font and search for this scrum data and it's a name i will recommend that you do that so i will just keep it to you know it's sortable yes keep it sortable and column background you can set a, a custom background for this column but i will keep it to default okay and then you have some conditional formattings conditional formattings like uh, if the cell value is equal to this value then set the cell, cell color to this one okay so you can do that for example um, this column is for offers okay coupon sorry yeah offers and then you set it like uh, offer percentage 15 percent okay the value you set from the data 15 percent and here you can set like if the offer value sell value is offer value is uh, 50 okay sorry is uh, not equal or less than there is no uh, option for less than or more than so you have only option for equal or not equal or contains or doesn't contain okay so that's um, a mess but yeah you can make it like equal so you can say it like uh, auto update you can say it's an option that a uh, coupon is applied automatically so you can set it like coupon automatically and then if it is yes equal is yes then set color to green otherwise set the color to uh, red okay so you can format it like that perfect so it's like uh, excel data formatting it looks something like that and you can also enable excel formula support for transform value from here okay but i will keep it to this and let's add our column so we have this name column let's add few more columns i will just uh, add columns for this one name description coupon and link okay so we can import the csv letter so add this column for description it's single line text field yeah then we don't need to set anything here let's edit add one more column for this uh, coupon and link okay coupon we need to set it here okay and yeah just add add one more column for link okay advanced settings you can set it not sortable and not filterable because i don't want users to filter the uh, data from this uh, link right and also from this coupon so i can make it not sortable so what happens is uh, this option uh, is gone when i check this setting perfect so now i can add data manually from here right so i can say but for a link 
link is a button link okay so button text is get offer okay let's open it a new tab background to be red text to be white okay and then update it now i can enter data like uh, woocommerce something like that this is description coupon something like that link okay so it's added it looks something like this you can see from the table design it will look like this when you click on this get offer you'll be redirected to the link that's set for this uh, link uh, cell perfect and this was a manual entry you can also add data from uh, csv how you can do that you can just uh, click on this add data button uh, you can just import and export let's go to this documents i have this file the same file here i have just saved it in csv format you can save it by here click on save as and here you can choose this csv utf 8csv file i have this name i have saved it already here it is and let's open this and replace existing data i don't want to replace i want to add okay so i will just import from csv csv uploaded successfully and yeah you can see all my data is added okay that this was manual entry and this is from csv and what you can do you can from changing data you can just click on this you can change it okay like this it's saved you can do anything perfect so this is wonderful isn't it then you can move these uh, columns as well so coupon will now be here description will be here okay like that and then you have the rendering settings options keep it to advanced table so you have better seo otherwise you can keep it to ajax as well keep the settings of caching as default and if you experience any lag or issue crashes then you can figure out from trial and error with these settings and then you have some table design options and this is what i was talking about so if you uh, want to see like if you want to make it for single line cells if you want to set a bordered table you can set it from here and hide vertical borders striped rows you can make it to simple rows without striped rows and then you can make it compact table so if you change any settings from here what you can do you can just go to your tools and go to global appearance and change the same settings of here to here okay and then update it so uh, for all your tables or settings are same you don't have to figure out every time you need to change it perfect i will keep it to this you can also keep a uh, bootstrap for layout for this like this okay or a semantic ui and then you have front end dynamic options what it enables if you enable this and you set the user role who can edit uh, who is having the editing permissions for the affiliate oh, sorry for the administrator it's already there okay but you can also allow it for other roles then you have editing column options what columns can be edited these columns okay and up here settings you can set uh, the button uh, labels you i will keep it to default and then update the settings now we are very near you can also set the custom css options and custom javascript you can write here and we have already imported it table design we have set already okay and let's add it to one of our pages click on create a new page add a new page and i will write it offers
and what I will do, I will just copy this short code and paste it here and publish it. Now I can view this page. Now you can see your table, right? You can search by WP Mint. Okay, so development is here. When you click on get offer, you will lead to the link page. Perfect. So you can run your affiliate programs. You can earn more commission by sharing some details like this. You can say it like Epsom best deals on content softwares and list all softwares with the respective coupons and links and get some better commission out of it. And what more you can do, you can also set your filters. Right, so what you can do, you can just head over to your table, you can go to custom filters, add a new filter, write the filter name. So what can we can do, we can just head over to this, add a new column and name it category and say it is a select field and select WordPress theme and WordPress plugin and software. Let's uh, keep all these settings as default and add column. Select it as WordPress plugin, WordPress plugin, software, software, WordPress plugin, WordPress plugin. Perfect and now we can go to our table configurations custom filters add new filter and name it like category label is category and placeholder is all it's a drop down you can set the manual data and keep the filter value to the same value as it's there in the uh, columns but you can also set it from dynamic and you can target the column i have this category column to be targeted okay and i can also disable this automatic filter so i'll do sorting option and also enable the multi select and let's edit perfect now it's added and now we can go ahead and reload this page okay here you can see it you can for example remove this uh, label okay so that you get to see it aligned okay you don't see this category table so it looks pretty amazing doesn't it okay so it's now filterable from the category itself so the same way you can uh, make more filters custom filters from this option custom filters you can add more filters right and you can also do this you can add data from here this is front end editing option so if you haven't uh, enabled this option from here in this front end editing you will not be able to do this thing so that you can add from here you can delete the complete row so right will be deleted okay you can see it's not there we had six fields six six data entries that's five right and uh, yeah you can add a new row from here as well so it's perfect isn't it so it's the best solution for your tables and if you like this video you can check out a link in the description and get to know more about this awesome plugin for table creations and uh, if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up and let me know what more i can uh, share with you with this and please subscribe to the channel for watching more videos like this till then bye bye and have a wonderful day stay healthy stay blessed